Okay, so you heard about AI agents and Open Hand is one of the best at this moment. So you should try it, you should run it and I will teach you how. So I will show you how you can set up standard Open Hands and how you can set up improved Open Hands. So currently Open Hands is on the SWE benchmark, SV benchmark uh, full leaderboard uh, number one. So it takes the first place and this was even with Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. So let's try and let's see what needs to be done to run open hands. Uh, you can go to their GitHub account. It takes some effort. You need to have Docker installed. So if you Google how to install Docker or download Docker, you will come up to this button on the Docker website, download the appropriate uh, version of Docker and just install it. Then you need to run it. Uh, make sure that Docker is running. Okay, now we have Docker. Uh, you can follow their guide. It's basically two Docker commands. Uh, but we also have our own guide, uh, which is essentially the same. So you're pulling the same image. Because a few days ago we contributed to Open Hands project uh, and now you can have use open hands with Daytona runtime. Then you need the second command and note here that you need to enter your Daytona API key. To get the API key, you need to join our waitlist. The waitlist is quite uh, fast. So you just need to enter your details and we will onboard you as soon as possible. Uh, then in Daytona um, dashboard, you need to create a new API key, open hands something. Create the API key, copy the key, take the first command that I showed you from our guide, you can find it on our website, and change Daytona API key to your Daytona API key. Now we need to run it. Uh, the first time when you run it, uh, the images need to be pulled, so, so it will take a little bit. But I already have them, so I can just click the link and basically open, hence it's already running. Before you start using open hands, you need to select your LLM provider, your preferred LLM model and paste the API key. Uh, and that's it. You can add your GitHub token if you have some private repos that you want to work on. Uh, otherwise, we are good to go. So create a modern to do app that this mobile first and let's see so now we can see also the log here um, Daytona runtime is creating a new container uh, this is happening all happening on our infrastructure so uh, none of the LLM generated code will run on your machine it's totally isolated and also the new docker containers that are created will not hog up your machine and you will have uh, better user experience. While we are waiting, we can check uh, Daytona uh, for the sandboxes that are being created. And you can see Open Hand Sandbox has been started in US region. Now everything is okay. The runtime is working and the agent started creating files. So it basically uh, read the content of, of the existing uh, directory uh, and now it's running a bash command npm create. I like to observe what the agent is uh, trying to do, but also you could just like go drink a cough, cup of coffee and enjoy the results. If you have time, you can just go and read the logs how agent is basically doing. It failed at one moment because it needed to install the package. It didn't have a package. So it's now installing the package. Everything's going well. It's running a bash command, going inside the directory, running npm install. Yeah, and with AI agents, it's essentially a waiting game. So let's see. And every time you run them, it could be a little bit different experience. So you need to get good at writing prompts. I was not that descriptive, so ideally you would add more stuff inside the prompt because now it's, it's a guessing game. So it's installing Tailwind, PostCSS, Auto Prefixer, Icons. Cool. Everything looks good for now. 
everything is installed it has a problem initializing tailwind running into some errors and finally managed to do something everything's going well now any moment you will see files popping up here in log you can follow up everything what's happening in the background level 0 local step 14 global step 14 cool it wrote the full page everything's going well it's updating the readme file and now it's starting it's trying to run the development server so we now any moment now we should see uh, the end result of our to do app you can see here that there are some files inside this folder or at least they will pop up any moment now okay for some reason it failed to start the server it didn't fail this was a good uh, output let's see it's trying to fix the tailwind for some reason you don't need to know any of this like uh, agent will run will will output some result and if you want to go through it later you can but you don't need with Daytona if you want you can even go inside the terminal like we have a web-based terminal you can see open hands directory ls and you can go and check out the content of the directory but anyways let's see what's happening here it's still having problem running the server not sure why because this output looks like the server was running now it basically is trying to use regular CSS and not Tailwind so it's reverting to something that we explicitly ah, okay we didn't explicitly said use Tailwinds and now it's trying to go with pure CSS let's see so until this moment it didn't ask us the agent didn't ask us for any intervention so this is okay this is okay by me uh, let's see what the end result will be now it's again trying to build the app for production and it encountered an error and it's now trying to remove tailwind you see if you are running remove command on your machine or in your environment that wouldn't be nice with Daytona everything is run inside an isolated sandbox this was a write protected file and the agent decided to overrun this and to remove it it failed again so th this experience should be improved uh, for sure and from this point we are just sure that at this current stage AI agents and LLM models can only improve um, so yeah it's again trying to run uh, the server let's see what will happen it failed again but this is an error probably on the side like the server is running and let's let's see what happened let's create a simple readme file okay so run the server and show me the preview in your browser tool because open hands comes with a couple of tools like Jupyter notebook and browser and let's try to preview the app and it should it should show up here any moment now for some reason even when the server is running it's reported here as an error but it realized that the app is okay and it's trying to preview it in the browser and we can see the app uh, the agent is also adding some tasks for us to buy groceries and essentially we cannot take the control of this because the agent is still trying to explore the app which is also nice because you can use it to like run some tests or ensure that the quality of the app is as it should be it's removing task finishing task trying out the filters so up to this point we didn't need to write any command to the agent 
the only command that we wrote was created to do app and the uh, end command was uh, let's preview the app and it's basically running the preview and it's also manipulating the app and I hope it will also try to improve it uh, and yeah that's it so now you can run open hands with Daytona runtime so all of the code that is generated by your agent and an LLM uh, is basically run in an isolated and a secure environment. Cool! Until next time, see you!